Yeah, it's a theft product. It's a forced front end ad. Oh my god, can you believe it? You did what? No. That is so. What? Then what happened? Oh my gosh, you caught them? Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly and welcome to Auto Finance Sense, where I help you make sense of the dealership finance office the next time you buy a car. And boy, do I have a good one for you today. Stick around. I know you've heard me talk a lot about forced front end ads like theft products, for example. But let's do a little deep dive on some of these theft products. But first, let me give you a little backstory. It goes something like this. George and his wife wanted a Kia Telluride. They were at the dealership and negotiated a fantastic price on this very popular vehicle. They made it into the dealership finance office when what happens? That's right, George sees a fee, a charge on the purchase order for a theft product. It was $699. George stops everything and says, hey, what's this? What do you think they said to him? Something that I know you've all heard before. Oh, we put that on all of our cars. You have to take it. When the cars come in, we put it on the cars. It's there, you must take it. Now, George and his wife were very tired. They had been at the dealership a long time. And his wife just said, George, sign the paperwork so that we can drive happily home in our brand new Kia Telluride. It doesn't change our payment by that much. So George, let's just sign and go. And that's exactly what they did. They drove away, they went and had some dinner that night. They were so happy, they were celebrating. But later that night, George wasn't sleeping too good. He couldn't get rid of that nagging thought in the back of his mind. You know, that $699 that was kind of forced onto them because they put it on all the cars. So he gets up, he goes out into the kitchen and pours himself a glass of water. And he sees his paperwork lying on the table next to him. So he decides to start flipping through it, looking for the actual contract for that theft product because he remembers he doesn't even know how it works. He doesn't know what benefits were given with this contract. George is tired, he goes back to bed. Now the next day, George's wife is out in the backyard playing with the grandkids and he decides to pick up the phone and call the administrator phone number which is listed at the bottom of the theft product contract. And whenever the automated phone system picks up on the other end, George chooses number two, which is dealer rather than customer. He explains to the gentleman that, I know I selected dealer, but Last night we bought a brand new Kia Telluride and no one explained the benefits to this product. Could you go over that with me? To which the gentleman replied, I'd be more than happy to. And so he goes on to tell George that this is a black light product and there are little encrypted dots that are sprayed on different parts of your vehicle, such as the inner panel of the door, up underneath of the engine, and you also have a little sticker on all the glass letting potential thieves know that, hey, this is protected by ABC Theft Company. And once again, George goes to bed that night and he cannot sleep. He can't help but wonder, hmm, I happen to have a black light flashlight out in my garage. So at 2 a.m., George goes out into the garage, trying not to wake his wife or the dog, and he shines it on all the different parts and areas that the administrator told him on the phone. And what do you think George found? That's right. Nothing. George found nothing. Not even a little sticker on any of the glass on the vehicle, letting any potential thief know that it is protected. So it seems like George paid $699 extra for something that, I don't know, maybe the dealership forgot to put onto the vehicle. Now, that's not the end of George's story, and I'll let you know how that worked out in a minute. But first, because this happens so often at the dealership, I want to provide you with the questions to ask. Number one, is this a micro dotting spray that's applied or is this an etch that's put onto the glass? And if so, I want to know everywhere on the vehicle that you're putting it. Next, you want to ask, what term is this? How long is this contract for? Is it for one year, three years, five years? What's the term? And next, you want to find out if there's a monetary benefit to it. This is a good thing if there is, but here's the catch. A monetary benefit to a theft product means that you get, let's say $1,000, $3,000, or $5,000 
towards the down payment of a new vehicle should yours be stolen. You want to know, however, is there a tieback to this product? What does that mean? A tieback means that if you get that monetary benefit, you can only use it at that selling dealership. You can't take that money and go to a different dealership and use it as a down payment on a new vehicle. Find out if there are any reimbursements with this product. For example, does it pay your deductibles to your insurance company for you? Does it pay for rental car or travel expenses? And here's something that you will often hear a dealership employee tell you, which is, well, listen, whenever you get this theft product, it's going to lower your car insurance for you. So just pick up the phone, call your insurance agent and say, hey, they're telling me at the dealership that I'll probably get a discount whenever I get this theft product that they're forcing on me. Is that true? Now, when it comes to this etching and micro dotting technology, I've put a couple of videos down below that you can check out where people are showing you how it's applied to the vehicles. But back to George's story. So the next day, George decides to go back to the dealership and sit down and talk to the general manager. George explains what happened, how he feels about this, and says that he wants his money back. The general manager offered George several free oil changes for his troubles, but George stuck to his guns and he said, no, I'm paying interest on that $699. And then George opened up the can of worms and told the general manager, here's what I did. I called the administrator because I had questions about how the product worked, and I found out with my own black light flashlight that nothing was applied to the vehicle. So after going back and forth for a few more minutes with the general manager, George ended up walking out of the dealership with a check cut for $699. Now you have to know that this doesn't happen all the time, but I'm here to arm you with the knowledge so that you can turn the tables, don't let them box you in and take control of your own deal. Please be sure to take a look at my other video titled Wrongs at the Dealership, which I have linked in the description box below, where I talk about forced front end ads. I hope this empowers you. Stay tuned for more. And if you feel like you've learned a little something from this video, would you mind doing the YouTube things? Hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload new videos. I hope everybody has a wonderful day. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.